Where do we go from here? Well, one place that I would suggest going is making sure that you've got a copy of an operating system where you can do some of this testing. As we've talked about, Kali Linux happens to be a really good operating system for doing wireless testing. The reason for that is because it's got most of the tools that you need built right into it. Kali Linux is a distribution of Linux, not surprisingly, Linux is in the name. If you are not familiar with Linux, well, this is a good opportunity to become familiar with Linux. If you are familiar with Linux, it's actually a really good security testing distribution of Linux. We can go to downloads. You can get Kali Linux in VMware. There's actually ARM images if you want to run it on, for example, a Raspberry Pi. There are a lot of support options for Kali Linux. There's courses, blogs, lots of other places where you can get support for it. We've talked about doing virtual machines. If you don't have a way to get a virtual machine or virtualization software easily, I can recommend VirtualBox. The reason I recommend VirtualBox isn't necessarily because it's the greatest virtualization software out there, but because it's free and it's fairly easy to use. It works really well. It's really reliable and you can use it to install on your system and then have a number of guest operating systems running inside of your host operating system. So you could install Kali there. You can also get, as we've talked about, a USB Wi-Fi adapter that you can plug in and then pass through. There are a wide variety of options for you. Many of them are very, very inexpensive. All you've got to do is go to, for example, Walmart has Wi-Fi adapters right here. You can go to Walmart, you can go to Best Buy, you can go to Amazon. There are a lot of places to get fairly inexpensive Wi-Fi adapters that you can then pass through your virtual machine to get to the guest operating system. So there's lots of opportunities for you to perform wireless testing get comfortable with Wi-Fi and how it works. If you happen to have a wireless access point that is capable of it, you can get DDWRT, which is what we had talked about early on. There's a router database. You can look up the different models, for example, just because I happen to have a Cisco here. Cisco owns Linksys. You can see these are some different models where they support DDWRT, and you can install this open source firmware on your wireless access point and start using DDWRT in order to get a deeper feel for some of the configuration options. DDWRT exposes pretty much every capability and option that you might be able to get on one of these wireless access points. So there's a lot of different directions that you can go in once you have watched these videos and you want to actually start playing around on your own. Lots of places you can go, lots of options for getting software that will run lots of toys and tools, lots of great directions that you can go in. This is a really good starting point for you.